morning, y'all, and welcome to Apron Strings. If this is your first time to visit Apron Strings, well, welcome. I'm glad you're here. And I'm glad you're all here to celebrate our cookie, Christmas cookie, collaboration. Now, every year at Christmas, I have my bar over there filled with goodies, candy and cookies of all kinds. And sometimes when you are... Um, kind of full of all the sweets. You want to buy to something sweet, but you don't want it real rich. So today we're going to have a crisp Christmas cookie that is, it will satisfy your sweet tooth, but it's not overly sweet and loaded with a bunch of fruit and nuts. So I'm going to bring y'all over to my KitchenAid mixer. We're going to get them mixed up. And we'll have us some cookies to be tasting up here in a little bit. Okay, into my bowl, I have put one stick of softened butter at room temperature. And to that butter, we're going to add a cup of sugar and beat that until it's creamy. And then I'm going to add one egg. And then I'll stop the mixer and we will proceed from there. Okay, I've got my butter and my sugar pretty well incorporated, so I'm going to add one large egg, and that came from my own hens. We want this to blend really well. To our butter mixture, we're going to add two cups of self-rising flour. And do y'all know that when you put your flour in your uh, canisters, if you'll put a couple of bay leaves in there, that helps to keep the bugs from getting into your flour? I have to try to make a shield with my hand here. Okay, we want to cream this and then we're going to add our coconut in. All right, I'm going to add my coconut in and let it mix. And it makes a kind of crumbly mixture. You have to form it into balls to, to cook it. My original recipe called for unsweetened coco coconut, but all I have ever is sweetened, and so I've only ever made these with sweetened coconut, and to us, they're not too sweet. If you wanted to cut your sugar back a little bit, fourth of a cup or so, you could, but they always turn out good, just like this. So let's get over to the butcher block. That's our favorite place to gather, and we'll get our cookies made and in the oven. Okay, y'all, you can use a cookie scoop. But I couldn't find my small one, so I'm just going to use a spoon. My hands are clean. Form this into a ball and scooch it together some. And then you just want to get little pieces of it and squeeze it together and make a cookie. And when you put it down on your pan, you're going to mash it with a fork a little bit. So we'll just get our balls formed. And then we'll mash it. Y'all making lots of goodies for Christmas? If you have a good cookie recipe, if you haven't already shared it on one of the other channels that's listed below. By the way, there'll be links below to every channel that's participating in the collaboration. So you're going to get lots of cookie recipes and we're asking our viewers if you have a favorite recipe, if you'll post it in the comments below, everybody will be able to have a whole lot of new recipes to use for Christmas this year. 
this recipe came to me all the way from Australia. So, and if you will, tell where you're from when you put your cookie recipe down. And if you want to use a, you know, put a different one on several different pages, that's fine too. That will be just recipes for us to add to our box and to use in the future. I love to get a new recipe. Especially one that somebody has really tried, not just copied because they thought they'd use it one day. If you're going to share a recipe with somebody, I always share one that you've proven because you know what? They're going to think about you when they use it. And if it turns out to be a mess, that's not going to be a very good thought. So I always use something that you know is going to turn out pretty good. This recipe makes about four dozen little cookies. So if you're going to feed a crowd, you're going to double or triple it. But today I'm just doing one, one recipe. That's because I want to get through and get on to making something else. Normally I'm, Lordy mercy, I'm behind this year. Usually by the 1st of December I have goodies made and ready to serve whoever comes in and out. I don't have as much traffic as I used to since my kids are grown and gone and the grandkids are growing up and they're not here as much. But I still like to carry on with my traditions. When I was growing up, really the only Christmas tradition we had, Mama would get our Christmas tree two weeks before Christmas. Back then, um, you didn't do all the decorating people do now. We had a Christmas tree. and we would put our ornaments on it and then we would have Christmas, Christmas Eve and Christmas Day. But Mother, really our only tradition was Mother would make what she, the name of her cake was a date cake. And when I married Troy, his mother made almost the exact same recipe and she called it a fruit cake. It has dates in it and raisins. It doesn't have the colored fruit. So after I married, we had a friend, and every year her table in her formal dining area was covered with all kinds of candy and cookies and goodies, Margaret Morris. And that's what got me started doing what I do at Christmas, making all of my goodies and having stuff to share when people come in. And they always look forward to it. If I'll tell the kids, we don't need all that stuff, I'm not going to do all that this year. Yeah, Nana, we always have that. So, we're going to have it. Okay, I want to show y'all. I've mashed all of these down with the fork just to make little bitty flat cookies. Now, the original recipe says to sprinkle them with sugar, and I usually just use regular sugar. But uh, I'm going to use some colored sprinkles today just because it's for Christmas. I'm going to do some red and some uh, orange, some green. And we'll have some cookies with to look a little bit like Christmas. They'll look a little bit like the ones you do in a cookie press. A whole lot less trouble. And they'll be pretty on your plate because of the orange and red Chris, uh, sugar sprinkles. Okay, I'm going to put these into the oven. And it's supposed to be 375, and I did put my thermometer in, so let me see what I've got here. That booger's hot, and I don't want to handle it. I've got 350, so I'm going to cut it up just a hair, and I'm going to go ahead and put my cookies in. For about 10 or 15 minutes, let me see what it says what it says 10 to 15 minutes I'm gonna set my timer for 12 and we'll check them be back in just a little bit we'll see what they look like and then we'll see what they taste like cookies like about four minutes uh, before I'm gonna check them but I did the last half of the dough and I mixed my sprinkles red and green on each cookie so it looks a little bit more festive so that'll just give you an idea either red, green, or whatever your choice is. But um, they're going to be good either way.
Here's the first pan out of the oven with just the red and green sprinkles. I'm going to get them on the rack over here to cool. And the other pan is in the oven. And I'll show y'all what the ones look like that have both colors on them when they come out. Okay, y'all, I've got some of them plated up here. This is the ones with just the plain red and green sprinkles on them. The others are still in the oven. So I'll show you those when I get them out. They sure are good. Here's our cookies. Some of them are the green sprinkles, some are the red, and then some of them have both colors on them, which makes them a little more festive. I hope y'all will try the recipe. It's really good. It's not real rich. Doesn't have all the crunch and the fruit in it, but it's a wonderful treat with a cup of tea or coffee or just a snitch one with some milk. I want to thank y'all for coming by today and watching me make the Christmas Gypsy Biscuits. They're very good and uh, they just fit the bill when you don't want something real rich. Make them the rest of the year and put plain sugar on them or Halloween put you some orange sugar on them, whatever. You, uh, you can change it according to the season, but they're very good. I appreciate y'all coming by. Don't forget to check out the list below of each channel that's participating in this collaboration and go get their cookie recipe and, and try it. And if you haven't subscribed to the channels, please do. And leave a comment and leave us all a thumbs up if you like the idea of making Christmas cookies. That'll be a good thing. And I will be back here in a few days with some more goodies that are kind of geared toward Christmas. Maybe some side dishes, some casseroles, cakes and cookies. The good Lord bless and keep y'all. And uh, don't forget, today is a gift. It's the present. Open it up and get all the goodness out of it that you can. Make memories. Put your cell phone down and talk one-on-one -on -one with people and make some lasting memories. Give out some hugs. Give some smiles and you'll get a bunch back. The Lord bless y'all.